I'm Bev Clough. I'm a professor in law and social justice at MMU. And I'm Dr Laura Pritchard-Jones and I'm a senior lecturer in law at Keele University. Um, so in May 2022, we held a research seminar at Keele University on issues around mental capacity, sexual relationships and intimacy. The impetus for this event really came from the recent shifts in the law in this area, um, and in particular the Supreme Court case of a local authority and JB. Uh, and this is a case which brought the civil and criminal law into closer alignment in relation to capacity to consent to sex. Alongside this case, we've also seen increasing engagement by the courts with the issue of mental capacity and internet or social media use in recent years. And this is primarily by uh, learning disabled individuals for creating and maintaining relationships. These cases are really an important reminder that intimacy and relationships in an increasingly digital age aren't just physical and that the virtual world offers new opportunities and challenges for interpersonal connection. So as social legal scholars, we recognise the need for uh, interdisciplinary interrogation of the law in this area, as well as its implications for people with cognitive impairments, as well as legal and social care professionals who are having to uh, apply the law. So as such, the research seminar we hosted involved a range of speakers, um, so it included academics from law, sociology, disability studies, legal and social care practitioners and third sector organisations. So the aims of the seminar, which were generously funded by the SLSA, as well as the School of Law at Keele University and the Centre for Disability Studies at the University of Leeds, were to enable us to explore these legal developments in more detail. Um, thinking about how the, la how the law has developed in response to social attitudes about the sexual lives of people with disabilities and how much the voice of the person at the centre of these capacity assessments is heard and also how this could be improved, as well as the ways that practitioners understand and apply rules about mental capacity in this area. So we've secured a contract with Bristol University Press for an edited collection based on the event, and this is due in early 2024.